My Moundsview story starts with my mom. She decided she wanted to move to Shoreview, Minnesota because she wanted her child to go to Moundsview schools because they were good schools. The first things that come to mind when I think of my experiences in Moundsview in general are joy and feeling supported and propelling me into the rest of my life with useful skills. Well, I actually transferred from an all boys Catholic high school in Chicago, Illinois, and I went to Irondale. The greatest uh, aspect of the Moundsview, the Irondale experience for me was understanding how people interacted with each other and the social dynamics. I think my Moundsview education had an impact on me because it was really challenging. I just remember what a competitive environment it was and I think that really helped prepare me for college and beyond to be kind of at that top level. The Moundsview School's experience shaped who I am today by giving me many opportunities to try out different activities and subjects and prepare me to not be afraid to try new things later in life. The teachers at Irondale were dedicated not only to their craft, but to teaching the students in however the students learned, and that's something I really appreciated. I have a company called Fluence Media. We consult with companies and organizations on navigating kind of high stakes communication situations. As a kid, I grew up delivering the newspaper. So I had this interest in news and media and politics. So through high school, I had this interest and a certain instinct and that was all born out of delivering papers and social studies class. I worked on Amy Klobuchar's Senate campaign in 2006. Then I moved out to DC in 2007. I then moved on to be scheduler for another US Senator, a Congresswoman, and then finally First Lady Michelle Obama. After graduating from Moundsview, um, learning a lot about service and leadership there, I left Minnesota out to Washington State for college. I figured it would help to have skills to work effectively with nonprofits, so I study business. Today I work for the U.S. Department of Housing and Urban Development here in Minneapolis. I graduated from Marquette University in 2018, and this past year I've been working as a medical scribe before I go to medical school. Most of the science classes I took at Irondale were dual enrollment with the Anoka Ramsey Community College, and taking the classes at Marquette, I felt very prepared and knowing what I needed to know. I am Chairman, President, and CEO of U.S. Bank Corp in Minneapolis. When I was three, I knew I wanted to be in finance and math and banking. I was always a very math-oriented person. What I remember a lot about Irondale is an English teacher by the name of Mr. Diffley. And Mr. Diffley was wonderful and taught me the art of storytelling as well as writing. And those aspects of uh, my skill set, both telling a story and writing, have helped me throughout my career. Since I was building events at the highest level possible, and I truly enjoy logistics and lists and planning events and just bringing somebody else's vision to life. So that's why I created my own event planning business. I'm an investigative reporter for NBC Boston. I got where I am today because I'm curious. I love to tell people stories, meet people, and learn new things. I think my favorite teacher had to be Mrs. Rolls. I had her for a public presentation class where we had to give uh, a number of different types of speeches, think on our feet, ad lib, all skills that I at least uh, try to use today. They didn't just give me an education, but it gave me tools, how to work with others, friendships that last to this day. I don't know where I would be without my student council experience because that was so fundamental to who I am today. I'm actually the first Cesare to graduate from high school and college and having that education, I think reflected on what I'm able to do today because of that. My name is Spencer Humpschulte Beck. Lois Olson. Ryan Calf. Jeanette Cleland. Andy Cesare. My name is Erin McGilvery. I went to Moundsview High School and I graduated in 1998. 1997. I graduated from Moundsview in 1990. 2015. I went to Irondale High School and I graduated in 1978.